but if we're outside and it's an outside festival gig, I I I use you know like Converse shoes. Yeah, with very thin bottoms. But you but you have um, trousers on at least. You're not like yeah. Crimson Moon, I'm right? not, you I'm just not play in his <laughs> underwear. Yeah, <laughs> I have some manners. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if he does that still, but he used to when I was in that band. Uh, sometimes. In like the 90s. Every time when, when we rehearse, he has his, it's only the trousers. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's have a little break and uh, see, uh, see the last song. Carl is going to introduce it, actually. Uh, Am I going to introduce it? You have already have. Two yeah, months ago, actually. Yeah. yeah. The recording starts with you introducing it. So okay. Yeah. Okay. So I did not test the uh, audio before, so we'll just have to cross our fingers that it works. <laughs> 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 but uh, I guess it will be okay. Okay. Here we go. Now we have Sorry. come to the title track of our new album, "Marching Out of Babylon." So this song is also called "Marching Out of Babylon," and this is. Live for the first time in the history of mankind. No one has ever seen it. So, and with this one, we march out of stage. This is Marching Out of Babylon.
Thank you very much. Thank you very much. When did you learn to sing like that, Ricky? When I learned to sing like that? Yeah. Um, um, we, uh, um, we, we started to, uh, I, I've always enjoyed singing, but uh, I've always been a little bit too shy, probably. But we started to experiment with a little bit clean vocals on Incarnate on the song. Um, uh, what's the song again? Help me out. Icarus? Yeah, Icarus Burning. And then we made the Melik album and I wanted to sing more. And yeah, that is just, I wanted to, to, to develop that. So I guess, why not incorporate more of the clean vocals in, in our refrains as well? Start a power metal band. Ah, power <laughs> metal is for, you know. <laughs> yeah, finish that sentence. Oh, power metal is for the power <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I've been playing in a power metal band, so I, I, I'm not the one to talk. <laughs> Where did the other guys go? Am I alone here? No, yeah, no, no, no. I'm here. Do some questions for Carl. I have some questions for Carl. You know, uh, yes. Carl. Firstly, we could start with the. Uh, What's the uh, what? What's the link between Pantocrator and the Golden Order of the Almighty? You have to find that out for yourself. <laughs> the, the internet is a tool for you, man. <laughs> find it out. We're not gonna spoil anything. But there is a connection. There is a connection. Yeah, uh, the connection goes uh, to the Aurum album mostly. You, so yeah, we, we you will hope, understand uh, it once you come to level 12. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> pay the price. <laughs> it's no price, it's for free. <laughs> we, we, we will hope that uh, the people watching have access to the internet then. Yeah. Be, uh, sad if they didn't. <laughs> they probably have. It would be hard to watch <laughs> if they the were watching. <laughs> and uh, also another question for Carl: uh, How did you decide the lyrical theme for for this album? Because the lyrics are very, very good. They're written very well and had, has a lot of symbolism and allegories and all that good stuff. How did you? I, I don't think well I ever decided. Oh. It's it, it's not a strict theme on this one. It's just scattered thoughts, but they tend to kind of connect to each other and <laughs> form a circle in the end but it's the I think it's the first album without a strict theme so we could be a little freer and do whatever you know for example the wedlock uh, lyrics were written like 19 years ago and they never fit anywhere <laughs> until uh, <laughs> until uh, this one that's more mixed you know I appreciate so, the uh, wedlock lyrics because that gave us the hinge to decide the sides on the LP. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Uh, you know, uh, so there's a meaning to everything. <laughs> yeah. So it's like uh, side A is. Uh, I belong to thee. <laughs> you belong to me. Yeah. The D. Yeah. Side D. Because uh, I like that. I think. It's, uh, Big world to always have side A and B. Yeah. 